everybody. Uh, another quick update. So I've begun stitching part two. Um, I've built up these corners here. They're not corners. I've built up the, <laughs> this side here. Um, had I sort of known or thought about it too much, I probably wouldn't have done the light brown here and then I I didn't want to do another light brown one in case I ran out of um in case I ran out of the floss but also I mean I'm not going to run out of the floss I mean in case I ran out of the brown bit of the floss um but I want yeah so I picked a much much darker color let me just bring you in much much darker oh yeah and then I've done some rose sti rose stitches here which are really cool they're really they look sharp they look proper shiny they're absolutely beautiful so if I just scrub back out again um so it will look like a sort of brown inlay I I don't think I dislike it enough to fix it and pull this brown out again I just don't think that's necessary so it looks more brown on camera but also I think if it's consistent all the way around I think it'll be fine I wouldn't have had a thought about it I wouldn't have done that um this color when I did this bit but it's done now and I think it'll look fine and it almost looks like um this stuff will kind of join onto there I don't know as long as it's consistent all the way around I suppose it'll be fine um if I absolutely hate it <laughs> then I might try and fix it but I just don't think I can I just don't think I can bring myself to do that do you think it'll be all right Eek. um and then just coming back in again yeah these roads roads stitches road stitches or roads roads with an s roads stitches are really cool and um they went super quick super quickly really quickly because they're pretty consistent and there's a nice pattern to how you stitch them so that's it so far um and when i'm looking at the pattern so there's nothing else to stitch here um or here on this side oh yeah i did my nails uh, or here everything is um, basically built out as my hand built out here down here we <laughs> um, and a little bit the same as this here so everything's basically in these corners now um, so I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to move the scroll frame now I suppose I could get a little bit done more done in here but it's just awkward so I'm not gonna bother I'm gonna have to move it wish me luck hello so I have, um, this is some felt that I've sort of tucked in here. Um, and I managed to do the scroll frame and get some good tension on it again. So I'm very happy with that. Um, now I'm starting on this top section and just repeating the same as this bit over here. Uh, and I realized as I was stitching it, there's no way I'd be able to take this brown out now anyway, because I've probably got, um, the thread from the beads tied up in there potentially so there's no way I'll be able to take it out so I'm going to live with it and it's going to be fine and actually this all just looks dark that looks light eh, it's all right I'm on the verge of forgetting all about it if I'm honest <laughs> so um yeah I'm going to con continue with this um I've got plenty of space then to go up to the top on the scroll frame and as I said there's a bit that comes out maybe it comes down to about here I'm not entirely sure but it's kind of this square here sort of uh, something like that and then a big square here I'm not sure and then a big specialty stitch in here and bits and pieces around it so I've got plenty to do oh and then obviously because it's a symmetrical mandala the uh, the same on the other side so I've got loads to do just absolutely loving it I don't want to I don't want to stitch on anything else <laughs> and so I might not anyway that's it bye Hi everyone, so I've got a bit of an update for you. Um, I have 
finished the top half of part two. So I'm just going to move the camera and show you where I am so far. Looking good. Okay, so part two is, um, what is it? It's kind of this purpley section here with the beads. I'll show you in a second. All the way around, these four uh, light coloured squares, some specialty stitches and um, cubes. So there's beads, but they're much bigger. They're bigger than these as well. So they go here and then one in that corner. Wee. So I'm going to leave those till the end just because I'm sort of um, uh, rolling up my fabric with some felt. You can see this here. So um, I think it's better if I put the cubes on after because they are much, much higher, um, taller, bigger, whatever. Um, so I finished down here. These are some road stitches and really are just so lovely. Here's some beads and they, they're not sitting flat, um, which is really annoying me, but I'm gonna go with it uh, then I've got some eyelets here and then this section is um, is it one? Oh yeah it's one color of specialty thread I can't remember one color of petite treasure braid and then these are also road stitches which are back stitched um, will it zoom in oh there you go nice road stitches yeah and then back stitched smaller road stitches I suppose you could say well they can't say like they are smaller than we smaller than these ones they're tricky to see but they're exactly the same and then there's back stitch all the way around each each one so there's three in a row this really thick sort of texture texture um it looks really substantial and really chunky here which is cool um there's a couple of half stitches or three quarter stitches I, I don't know um the difference but that's how i've stitched them uh they're on each side as well um yeah some eyelets this is a waffle stitch actually stitched up really quickly and what's interesting is when you go into the facebook group other people have stitched it more in a diamond so i'm not sure whether the original when it was a workshop i'm not sure whether the original pattern had a slightly different waffle stitch but then a lot of people have stitched it like this which is what the actual now which is what the um instructions show so yeah i'm sure it's fine um then yeah this whole section at the top is the same on each side in terms of with these stitches and then because it's symmetrical this is repeated so again we got the three road stitches with back stitch and these beads sit nicely so i'm obviously it's obviously just the way that i'm pulling them that way fits much nicer than these it's really interesting also i suppose i'm pulling my sorry i'm pulling my fabric more taut this way than this way anyway it's fine um yeah so that's all done and then obviously here is the square that it's, i'm going to leave empty for the cube which is really Oh, it's beautiful and there's a tiny 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 little bead there which you can barely see so that is the top half done of part two i'm now going to um unroll and roll up and do exactly the same on the bottom half i think this is taking me two three days two days um two days it's quite quick um, and some of these specialty ch stitches look like they might take ages but they really don't take that long once you've done a couple of them then it's the same pattern like the same routine for each stitch so you can kind of bash through them the beading takes me a while mainly just because it's really slippery thread <laughs> okay so uh, yeah that's it that's it I'm gonna do the um, bottom half now okay oh, I think it's lovely right I'm going bye so I've got a bit of an update for you I have finished the bottom half of part two I had to think about that then um so I've done these uh all of these squares excuse my chip nail varnish uh all of these squares 
with these um, road stitches with some back stitch. I've done the corner waffle stitches, which I've done all the same direction, um, as in I've done them all with this kind of arrow. Where is it? Oh, arrow kind of facing to the left. I'm okay with that. Um, I'm sure it's probably supposed to be four different directions um, or two different directions, but because it's symmetrical, I, I, but I'm not bothered. So I've done them that way. Um, I've put the beads on and um, yeah, I finished off these stitches around the outside and then the, this is all done over here. Um, but I've noticed, so I was just going to um, carry on really with part two down the bottom, but I noticed that I've stitched some of the beads, some of the eagle-eyed amongst you may have noticed, I've stitched some of the beads. It's only six out of, um, out of the four lots of six, it's only one lot of six I've stitched in the wrong direction. So I'm going to roll, um, unroll, fix it in the top half and then get on to part three. Um, I just can't, oh, I don't know, <laughs> part, of, <laughs> part of me wants to um, leave it for when I roll up properly, but I think, oh, I don't know, I feel like I'm in the mood to just get rid of it and sort it out. Uh, anyway, I'm going to look at part three now and see what it's like, but um, yeah, essentially all of part two is now complete apart from those six beads. Uh, oh, and these um, cubes, uh, cube crystals are supposed to go one in each of these which I'm not going to put on until much later because they're taller they're bigger than I think they're higher than those so I want to save it for later that's it so far bye so I've immediately changed my mind <laughs> I've just had a look at the um, part three instructions and there is um, a kind of wave motif here um, I have to fill in some flowers here and I think here, I don't know. And then some snowflakes and stuff there. So there's an awful lot. And there's also finally stuff here on the side. So when I was doing the sides of here, there wasn't much to do. So I've got a lot to do in there as well. So I've actually changed my mind. I'm going to do those six. I'm going to fix them when I sc scroll up. Um, I'm not going to forget. They need fixing. And um, I really want to get on with the uh, the next part. So I'm going to do that instead.